Okay, let's try that again. All right. In the Cisco CCNA, there'll probably be a question that goes something like this, uh, very roughly, and they do this all the time, is uh, the admin network has like 44 users, faculty network has 60 users, media network has 22 users, library network has 12 users. How do you want to... Um, how do you want to subnet the network, right? You're, you're given a, a network address. How are you going to subnet it, right? Well, and they'll say, what should be the subnet mask? And then they'll give you these choices and whatnot, and you have to figure it out. Well, here's the key issue. We're going to need, instead of having one network, we need four subnetworks, right? We need an admin, a faculty, a media, and a library network. So not just one network. We need to subnet it into four networks, right? So we're going to have to give it a very funky subnet mask, right? Well, first of all, you have to just all you have to do is figure out your magic number, and you're all set. So the 128, if you were to take this um, last octet in this subnet mask or net mask, right, and you just do the 128 in binary, you see that it looks like this. That's in binary. The 192 looks like this. The 224 looks like this. And the 240 looks like that, right? Starting to do that. And then the 248 looks like this, right? All right, and so the 128, the 1 is in the 128's place. Here we've got a borrowed two ones, and the 1 in 128's place, and then a 1 in the 64's place. Add them together, you get a 192. Here, 128 plus 64 plus 32 equals 224. Here, um, 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 equals 240. And then 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 equals 248. So I do this, and I ask myself, what's the magic number? And I see that on this one, the magic number right here is 64, right? magic number is 64. Well, that's going to be enough hosts, just enough usable hosts. The usable hosts, the usable hosts will be 62. And that's going to be enough. Let's see here. Gosh, can't stand this. Sorry about this, everybody. The usable hosts will be 62, right? So the magic number is 64 can't use the first number, can't use the last number, can't use the network number, can't use the broadcast number. So you have 62 usable hosts. That's enough for the biggest of the networks that we have to create. Also, we've borrowed two bits, right? Two network bits. And two to the second power is? Two to the second power is four. So we know that there's four networks. And the networks are going to go up by the magic number, right? The magic number is 64. So the networks are 0, 64, 128 and 192. So you have four networks. You only you need four subnetworks. So you're all set, right? So what are the networks in this case? The networks are 0, 64, add 64, you get 128. Add 64, you get 192. And those are the networks. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. I'll take that to the next line. There we go. So those are the networks if the magic number is 64. All right? 0, 64, 128, 192. Each network goes up by 64. Just add 64 more, you get the four networks. We needed four networks. We needed to have at least 60 users with a 64 host network. Uh, we can do 62 usable hosts, so we're all set. So the answer is B. 255.255.192. It'd be the correct answer. Or, in this case, slash 26 is the amount. We borrowed two ones. And so that's it. That's the, that's the magic number theory.